Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die. <laughs> Alpha 16.2, and this is episode number 30. So for the past few episodes, we've been going to town, gathering loot, and... Wa okay, this was not scheduled. <laughs> Let's have some fun with this, right? I was actually hoping to make a new crossbow, but, you know... Situation called for this, I, I suppose. Oops. Alright, kids, gather around. It's storytelling time. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You guys don't get to whack, whack a base. It's whack a zombie time, not whack a base time. And it's also time for me to completely whiff it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a splody head. <laughs> ah. Thump. Right, let's make our way back this way, because these guys here are not cooperating. At all. You break, you buy. You break, you die. Ha <laughs> ha. Poetry. No ammo. <laughs> hey, Buster Brown. You're going down, buddy. See, told you. Now you can get away, you guys. Uh, all right, let's come in for a huddle, kids. Come on, come to daddy. Especially you, Goldilocks, Moldylocks. Got your attention? Did I bust a nail? Oh no, your nose. You'll never be a supermodel. <laughs> yeah! Come on, children. I'm on fire. All right, where are the rest of you goobers going? I know it's not me. These the AI has gotten like full on retard. It's like they lose interest in you sometimes. And then there's times they just can't get enough of you. Miss. All right. The slaughter continues. Make sure we got all the goodness out of these corpses. Hello, sir. All right. So there's a few zombies I know I didn't loot. And I really ought to be chopping them up just to get rid of them out, out of the way. So I know that I've already looted them. Hey, mechanical parts. Sweet. Alright, so these I'm sure I got. And it looks like that is the case. So let's see. Almost to level 42, then I get the steel smithing. Which is my penultimate goal for the week, I think. 
So then I can start a crucible, then I start making better stuff. Things start getting really good once you have the good stuff. Sadly for the base, it's taking a little bit of a whacking. Man, I don't have any wood on me. So it looks like all of... All the pets, I think. So let's uh, deposit the goods. So what I intended to do in this episode was not only make more ammo, but also make a new crossbow. So I need forged iron, leather, glue, duct tape, and wood. Okay. Forged iron, not a problem. Now let's see. Glue. Duct tape. How many crossbows can I make? Wait, what am I missing? Oh, leather too. Derp. Uh, I got two leather there, and I can make all that into the leather. Not a big -un deal. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's two. I think that's about all I can make, because my limit right now is, is the glue. That will be fine. It'll repair the one I have, and then the second one should be enough to improve it. So while we're waiting on that stuff, we can pack... ...this stuff away. And the leather... I think I'm still making it. Yeah. I'm going to need feathers. Well, maybe not that many. I'll go with that. And iron crossbow bolts. It's a good start right there, anyway. ready to go here for the first setup. Actually, let me un unload this. And in one second... Do, do, do. Blink! There we go. That makes it a 255. So that's that. Uh, let's make... Another wo wooden bow. It'll take it up to the next level. So, uh. <coughs> I'm gonna have to make some more arrows, apparently. So, I should have crafted it by now. Oh, it's because I'm still doing those? Okay. That's not a problem. Get a wood, and we'll make um, and we'll do that. Won't take long, and we can really jack up the value on that. So this will just take just a little bit. So be a little patient with me, will ya? Please, pretty please, we should go top. And I'm freezing nipples. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of nice to sit back and relax just a little bit when you're in the middle of the post-apocalyptic zombie universe. <laughs> I mean, we're doing pretty good. I, I still need to get the ammo up. Uh, I need to get the defenses repositioned, or re replaced, rather.
But yeah, we're doing pretty dang good, I'd say. Is that it? That's that is as they say it. Um let's grab some more feathers. And let's see what we'll take out. Well, let's get this started first. Uh, we'll go with two twenty six. Go it like that, and back we'll just stack all that together. Um, we'll do that because I can. So that's going to take about three minutes for all that to go through. Let's reload. Make sure they're all loaded up. Let's make another... Oh, I gotta wait for the ammo to go through. That's fine. We'll make another stone axe, cuz... We got level 6, so we should be able to make... 350 quality tools. Or wait a minute, no, that's for the next level up. Um, 300 quality. And do I have enough... For steel smithing, no, I need to get leveled up. I'm pretty damn close. Let's see, I'm gonna wanna go out this way. And by now the trees are getting close to full maturity. But what I'm wanting to do is also do a little bit of mining. Actually, I probably ought, ought to just skip the mining for now go strictly on getting leveled up first and then uh, getting the resources because you can level up with mining and all but it takes longer I think than it is uh, killing zombies it doesn't hurt to loot when you're presented the opportunity Just kind of make our way back through here and see if we can spark up some trouble, spark up some XP. Alright, so there's a house there. I think that's the one we broke into a few episodes back. Alright, yeah. It's a tree stump. Honey, 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 honey. <laughs> so got some cars. Now I really need to get a wrench again. But I'm, I'm thinking I don't quite have enough steel to to make it. Kinda hoping that there is some guys to kill and a wrench under the sink. Or in the sink as it were. And right. Boink. help you out here buddy and then I will shoot you in the face <laughs> ooh purple shoes yeah 
Yeah, that's what I'm looking for back here. Is it shotgun stock? Been needing that. Not alone. Yay, there's my steel oh shit. <laughs> Alright, let's get that steel smithing thing going. <laughs> and five points to spare, which I'll hold on to for the moment. <coughs> I was like, someone's tearing the place apart. Whoops. Find the gap. Shit. Big mama. Ah! How did I miss? She's got a huge melon. <laughs> Which I just exploded. <laughs> oh, good stuff. <coughs> Getting pretty good loot out of this house, actually. A lot of gun parts. Alright, so we in the garage. There's still a room to get yet. And I'm full, unless I can offload something. Uh, or not get any more stuff. I don't need the shit. Don't need the shit. <laughs> don't give me no shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll just leave it. I can always come back for it later. And if I come back to loot this place. Well, It'll be there. Alright, so that's about all I can get out of here. And I'm, again, completely topped off on loot. And now that we, we got steel smithing... Oops, what am... I can't even see the crosshairs at that point. Now that I got steel smithing... I can start making a crucible. And amongst other things, of course. Nope. Trying to shoot his leg out. <laughs> Alright, I'll just get out of here. Noticing the game's starting to get a little stuttery. Now, usually when I play without recording, I'm actually starting to hit, like, 60 frames a second. Of course, it's probably making a little bit more, but, um... Damn it! I got the... Vertical sync on, so it's gonna st stick with... The 60 hertz frequency that uh, my TV screen operates at, so it's going to end up capping the frame rate to 60 frames per second. So when not recording, uh, oftentimes I'm up in the 50 to 60 frames range. Sometimes I'm sure even higher than 60. So there there was an optimization in Alpha 16 for performance-wise, frame rates-wise. 
but it seems that when I'm recording, it almost cuts it right in half. Which is kind of uh, disappointing, if not sad. So now I can make a long shotgun. And let's see. Oops, there is one more thing, right? There. thing. I remember those schematics being worth a heck of a lot more. Let's see what it was. Okay, so these go over here. And what else was there? Oh, yeah. And I got some cloth, too. Goes in yaw. And then we will scrap that. I probably should have scrapped that all along and just swapped over to that, but whatever. Alright, so we should have some bullets made. <coughs> so we're doing alright there. Not the greatest, but alright. Um. Let's see, what is that? Oh yes, I need to make a crucible. So, forge iron, mechanical parts, lump of clay. And I don't think I have enough clay. Nope, not by a long shot. So we will take the steel shovel. And we'll go clay mining. And I have a hole for it around here somewhere. It's out in this direction, I think. There's like a whole bunch of clay all over the place out here, but there's just one hole that I started already. <coughs> I think it was, let's see, there's a tree, and I think it's out this way. Like right here. So I'm heading right towards it. I should be heading right towards it. Uh, hmm. Well, it's a clay deposit. It's not exactly the one I was intending, but... Come way out back here, I guess, and start digging. And, of course, I gotta remember the stamina issue. Gotta let it build up every now and then. 305, not bad for just a couple blocks of clay. While we're waiting for the stamina build up, let's see, we got five points. What can we play with here? Uh, let's see. I 
Why go out and risk your life scavenging when you can build your own parts? Okay, well, that's nice and dandy and all, but... Yeah, eventually I'm going to need that. So do-it-yourself is when it's kind of on my radar at the moment. Um... Hmm. Well, if I had 20 points, I can get the sexual Tyrannosaurus back up. Well, I think we will do it ourselves. Because I want the insulator and electrical parts. Almost there. We'll get a little bit more because I need more clay in the in the uh, forge anyway. I have to start coffee and beer production at some point. I think we're good for that for now, so we got, got the stone, we got the clay, I'm pretty sure I got the mechanical parts, and the forged iron is a maybe. And since this is the Friday episode, we're going to go along on this one. She's just wandering. She ain't nothing. Um, okay, so put the stuff away. Alright, so I need... Oh, I got just enough forged iron, I believe. Mechanical parts. I need ten mechanical parts. And we gotta build it at the workbench. And I need to know the skill. Don't have the necessary resources. Like hell I don't. Oh, yep, yeah, you're right. I don't have enough stone. Damn, damn, damn. Alright. Oh shit. Oof, that was too damn close. Let's see if we can piss this lady off a little bit. <laughs> see if she can try to s surprise me. You thought you're sneaky, didn't you, lady? Oh, I thought I was snipery. <laughs> but I am definitely making for the splody head. <laughs> ho, 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 nice haul. <coughs> wow, excuse me for hacking a lung up on you, but that was nice. That was nice. So, 
Man, I've got a lot of stone I have to harvest. I need to start getting uh, steel lock, uh, steel pickaxes and steel axes. This is why I was really pushing to get the steel smithing thing going. Once I get those tools, man, everything goes by so much better. A lot better than these primitive tools of stone axes and all that mess. And it's better than relying on tr on finding things. You can't always rely on finding things when you need them most. a little bit more. Finish off this little pillar here. It should... No, not enough yet. Damn. Thought for sure there'd be more coming out of this. Screw it, we'll take this all, whole damn thing down. I need this thing out of the way anyways, just for line of sight issues. And voila, a floating rock. <laughs> I think if you break one chunk of this off, the rest will start falling. See? What did I tell you? Sometimes I actually know what I'm talking about. Sometimes. <laughs> Just ask Sharky. <laughs> By the way, this this past week here, I gained a, a new patron on Patreon. His name is You Suck, but um, I know him more. I, I know him most as Sharky, but he went by the name of You Sucks. <laughs> so, I figured I'd give him a shout out and say thank you, Sharky. I appreciate it, buddy. Alright, so we got, I'm damn sure, yeah, we got more than enough to get a crucible started. <laughs> oh, damn it. There we go. That's more like it. Alright, so... Um, what? There we go. Now I can make it. Sweet. What? <laughs> I didn't read the part where it says it takes over 17 damn minutes to make the freaking thing. <laughs> Needs to say, it'll be ready by the next episode next week. Because I'm not going to add another 17 minutes to this Friday episode just to see this thing get done. It's crazy, crazy shit, I tells ya. Anyways, we're gonna dump off this ammo and these other resources. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, we can add a few more minutes to the episode, but I'm not gonna wait till that is done. Um, what can we do here? I guess we can get this going. And 
while we're waiting on that, we can crank out some more forged iron, I suppose. As for the forged steel, I don't think I have enough. Well, I have enough in there. But I don't add the skill yet. Uh, the crucible is required, so we'll get some of this going. That'll be great. I need to do some iron mining somewhere. And then we really start going to overdrive on getting this base really moving along. The crucible is a big, 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 big help. Um, but I am definitely going to need to start mining like a boss. And in order to do that, I'm really needing that steel pickaxe and uh, a lot of other things. So anyways, um, I really can't think of anything else to do at this point that is short enough to keep your interest, but long enough to kind of make a Friday episode feel like you're getting a little extra. <laughs> So with that, I will say thank you guys so much for watching. Do check out the links in the description box below. In it, you'll find links for my Twitter and Patreon uh, accounts on there, so you can follow me on that. And also links to other YouTubers that I watch. They have great high-quality content that you ought to be watching because they're more deserving of your eyeballs than I am. Not that I'm not grateful. But, uh, yeah, check them out. Let them know that I sent you. And until next time, see you later. Twitch. Twitch.